Now, President Cyril Ramaphosa has sent his condolences to the family of jazz icon Dorothy Masuka. She passed away at her home in Johannesburg yesterday at the age of 83. In a statement, the president says Masuka's passing is a great loss to the cultural heritage of South Africa and the continent as a whole. She was awarded the Order of Ikamanga in silver for her contribution to the music industry and for using her work to highlight the injustices of apartheid. Well, mourners have gathered at her home in Balbarton in Johannesburg to pay their respects. Masuka's granddaughter says the family has received messages of condolences from around the country and around the world. For an update now, we're joined by SABC News reporter Gillian Pillay. She's at the house in Malbarton. Uh, Gillian, tell us what's been happening today and who you're with. Very good evening to you, Francis. Very difficult scenes here at the family home of Mama Dean. As you can imagine, the contribution that she's made really being revered here. We saw a lot of her peers, but a lot of the family also rallying behind one another in the wake of the news that she had passed on. And yes, even though at the age of 83, I don't think the family was really prepared for her passing which came last night at this particular family home but what we've seen during the course of the time that we've been here Francis um, a lot of mourners coming to really pay their last respects also a little church service just to give comfort and strength to the family during this difficult time and really keeping in the spirit of what Mama D had had throughout her life particularly what many are talking about you know her, her passion for her work she being described as the great baobab that has fallen but also someone who said that singing chose her and these are the kinds of sentiments that one has seen being poured out over social media but also in the interactions with family here these are the kinds of well wishes and messages of strength that have been conveyed to them we have been talking to other living legends like mama abigail kubeka as well as mama mara Lowe, and it's been very difficult for them in the time that they've been here you know having just lost um a brother like Oliver Mdukutsi a few weeks ago, really being difficult to now again having to pay respects or to, to lay to rest another living legend, but to talk to us more about what the family is going through, not easy at this stage like her, like her, um, Masuku, really, um, you know, very difficult for you. Yes, yes, it has been very difficult for our family. Um, not only have we suffered a great loss with our grandma, but we have mixed feelings. We are saddened by um, losing our grandma, as any family would be, but we have so much to celebrate. She left a living legacy, and her memory will continue forever. So we have, we just in between feelings of being sad and we have so much to celebrate. Fortunately for us, our grandma has music records and she was a public figure and she was an inspiration to the youth and to other artists in South Africa and all over the world. Those last moments, um, if, it, if it's not too difficult to share with South Africans, what, what, was, it, what was it like being, being close to her last night before she had passed on? Um, it was extremely difficult because my grandma is very independent. She's she's a she's a powerhouse. She's an engine, and when someone that great is in so much pain, and you, you kind of feel like God, how how do I make you feel helpless? So that was very difficult, just feeling helpless and knowing that there's nothing you can do, and you just have to let her enjoy the pain and and pray for the best. But there's a lot more that you'd want young people and other artists, up-and-coming artists who use her as a beacon of hope and inspiration to draw from the strength. And what are, what are the, some of the things that you'd want others to, to take from that strength and that passion of your grandmother? Um, one thing for sure, my grandma was proudly African, not just proudly South African. She was very proud of her roots, very proud of where she came from. Um, most of her songs, she, she's got so many songs in so many different African languages because she really valued African traditions, African customs, and just Africa in general. She was an uh, African icon and African representative. So she taught me to be proud of where I come from, to be proud of my roots, and to be proud of being African. And there's nothing, she always believed like the nothing wrong with singing in your language, there's nothing wrong with expressing yourself in your native language and what you grew up with, in what you grew up believing and what you grew up knowing. So just be proud of yourself, just be proud to be African, just be proud, wherever you come from, just be proud of your identity and know who you are. And any highlights that you as a family remember about your grandmother? 
My grandma was one of the most forgiving people. My grandma didn't hold any grudges. She was very open, very transparent. If if you if you offended her in any way, she was always quick to say, "I'm not happy about this. You have done this." And once she has said it, it's over. She it's, she's forgotten about it. She's let it go. So she's taught us how to release, how to even through this difficult time, how to yes, we can you know dis disagree on certain things, but we go forward and we all have a common goal. But what a performer too. I'm just listening now in my earpiece to some of the stage performances. We're talking about, you know, four decades of performances under a belt and alongside the late Miriam Makeba as well as the late Yuma Sakela and Tandi Klaas. And those were the were great living legends. Yes, they were. But my grandma believed that all her musician friends were just that, just friends. We shared the music. She was a composer, so she wrote a lot of songs. They shared the songs, they shared the music, and to her it was just about moving forward. And she, I mean, she was in exile for South Africa, so for her, music was just it was a movement and a voice. Just to talk about funeral arrangements, or is it too early? What, 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 what can you share with, with us at this stage? Unfortunately, I'm unable to share very much. Um, we will finalize everything and be able to communicate that with everyone by tomorrow evening or tomorrow afternoon, the latest. That was Laika Masuka just giving us some sort of sense of really the last moments of the grandmother. Very difficult for her really to relate those last moments, but also saying there's a lot to celebrate during this time. Um, looking at her grandmother's um, living legacy through music, and yes, the music does play on. But at this stage, you know, them really finding it difficult to, to come to the realization and the reality that the grandmother has passed on. Back to you, Francis. Thank you very much, uh, Julie.